NYPD taking a hit due to the growing immigration crisis in New York City. Mayor Eric Adams reportedly planning to announce sweeping budget cuts later today to help pay for migrant care and services. That includes a hiring freeze for the next police academy class. Dre Clark explains how New York's finest are now reacting to this news. Dre, what are they sharing with you? Well, Marquis, good morning to you. You know, Mayor Eric Adams has long warned that the migrant crisis would have a trickle-down impact on everyday New Yorkers. Now that's coming into view. A few months ago, the mayor ordered every city department to cut its budget uh, by 5 percent to help offset the cost, the billion-dollar cost, of caring for the migrants. And now today, we're expecting the mayor will announce he's freezing the hiring of all new police officers. Now, if that is true, uh, that would not be good news for a police department that's already struggling to keep officers on the job. The NYPD needs to replace some 3,000 officers who have either retired or relocated to other places to do police work within the last three or four years. News Nation did reach out to the mayor's office asking to get a comment uh, on his plan, but we never got a response. Meanwhile, the New York City Police Benevolent Association, which represents more than 50,000 and active duty uh, and retired police officers said this in a statement. Uh, this is going to turn the NYPD staffing crisis into a public safety disaster. Our police officers are being worked to exhaustion and 911 response times are already rising. What is going to happen when no reinforcements arrive for months on end? Cutting cops puts New Yorkers at risk. Period. According to the NYPD's most recent crime stats, murders, rapes, and robberies are all down compared to a year ago. Uh, that number is also down for the number of shooting victims and shooting incidents. But not having enough police officers on the force could easily send crime spiraling out of control again. The mayor says the city is still on track to spending billions of dollars to help care for the migrants who are still arriving in the city. And he says the only way to meet that cost is by cutting back on city services, whether it's less police protection on the street or staggered trash collection. No city service is being spared these cuts. So far, the federal government has really done very little to help New York City with the cost of caring for the migrants. So the mayor says these cuts will be deep and they will be painful for people living here in New York City. This is all my time in government. Of uh, This is probably one of the most painful ex exercises I've gone through. It's going to be extremely painful for New Yorkers, and that is why we continue to say we need help. Now, the mayor says there will be another round of 5 percent cuts for all city departments. That's supposed to happen in uh, January. Meanwhile, city council still has to approve the mayor's budget, and already some council members have indicated they plan to push back on some of these ideas that the, ma uh, the mayor has in terms of cutting the budget and saving money to help pay for the migrant crisis. Adrian, Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.